Instant Pot Duo Plus 9-in-1 and it is a 6 quart and I am going to unbox it for everyone to see and I can't wait to use it so nice and fancy looking okay we have a manual here comes with the quick reference user manual recipe book for the power styrofoam good they kept it safe and Oh, look at this beauty. It's all, it's empty. And here it is, the 9-in-1 Dual Plus. Here, um, warning. What else do we have? Let's open it up. Okay, more. We have this to get all the steam. For cooking rice. Scooping stuff like soup. Cute, it has a little notch here now. rice paddle. I have the old one here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. New one and the old one. So this one can just sit on the table and it won't touch. Another warning. Cardboard. Oh, a nice trivet with the handles. Cute. More cardboard. Inner lining. Look how shiny this pot is. Even says instant pot here. And then we have another warning. And, oh, slightly different from the old one. Let me just grab my old one so I can show you a comparison. So, let's just compare it from the outside. This is my five quart, and now this is my new six quart. You can tell there's a few more buttons and also there is a nice LCD screen. <laughs> there was some styrofoam stuck on there. And it looks like there's three new functions on it. If you look here, you have the extra or you have the new one here, the cake, egg, and there it is, the sterilize. All right, the venting looks the same. And then when we open it up, you look at the lids. This one has a smaller vent cover, and then this one is much bigger. It covers both of the, the holes. Let's see. And the pot is almost the same. The pot is almost the same. This one's a six quart, so it's just a bit higher. 
and just a little bit. No, oh, it's the same. Ah, interesting. There we go. So the other difference is my cord is actually, power cord is attached to my old Instant Pot. This is the Instant Pot 7-in-1, dual 7-in-1, and now I have the 9-in-1. So this one I'll need to plug in. So once I get that set up, we'll head over to the kitchen and we'll do a water test. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to do the water test, which is also called the initial test run on page 14 of your user manual. One really cool feature that I've already noticed is that the LCD will turn off if you haven't touched or moved anything. And then once I open or do anything, ta-da! And this is also pretty nice. You can do that with the older model as well. I'm running out of room here, so here we go. So let's go, page 14. What you want to do is add three cups of water. So I'm just gonna do that right now. You put that into your inner lining. Don't forget to put that in. And three. We're just going to close that up here. Make sure this is turned to ceiling, which is towards the back. And we will select our options. Select steam for two minutes. So it automatically starts. It'll turn on after around 10 seconds after you stop pressing the buttons. And then you'll just have to wait for this to pressurize. You'll hear some hissing maybe, you might see some steam come out, but it should seal and then this silver valve will pop up once it's pressurized. Yay, it's done. So there are two ways that you can actually release the pressure and open your pot. Right now, it's completely stuck because it's pressurized inside. So the first way is called natural pressure release. Sometimes you'll see the acronym NPR. That means just to leave it as is. You don't touch it and you just wait. So with my old Instant Pot, which was a five quart Instant Pot Duo, that took about 10 minutes, sometimes 12 minutes. This one, I would assume maybe a little bit longer uh, and then now the second way is to use this uh, switch here and you turn it to venting. I would suggest that you be very, very careful because the steam coming from here is very hot. So if you are venting, don't put your hands above it. Don't stick your face in it, of course. Um, but just do it slowly. If it's a lot of liquid, it could spew out. So just, just be careful. All right, so once all the pressure goes out, that little silver valve will go back down. And see, you can just open it easily. And it's done. Everyone, thanks for joining me in unboxing my Instant Pot Dual Plus 9-in-1. I can't wait to make more recipes with my new Instant Pot. But in the meantime, check out my channel, Instant Pot Life and see the recipes I have up there with my old one. Bye.